All right, everybody, welcome back. Thanks for joining me. This is going to be Call of Duty Vanguard. This is my first time playthrough of the Vanguard campaign. Really excited for this because this is the first Call of Duty um, that I haven't actually played before. So one of the things you might notice with all of my other um, COD games so far for the channel and some other games that I'm going to have on here is I don't actually label them as a first time playthrough. And the reason I don't do that is because I don't, I, I want to be genuine with you, with you guys, about what I'm actually getting into. I, I don't call it a first time playthrough, but I do treat it as one because of the time lapse of when I make the videos and when I last played the games, which for pretty much every Call of Duty has been launch day. Um, and if you, if you know how far back it goes, you recognize that for some of these games, that's well over a decade, right? So I consider them to be first-time playthroughs. With Vanguard here and with, with future Call of Duties, these are genuine first-time playthroughs, and I'm going to label it as such. The reason I haven't is because I don't want to be disingenuous. But in this case, it's real. So let's hop into it. All right, here we go. Let's do it. Now, I don't know what the reception is to the campaign. I, I don't really have any expectations for what Vanguard is going to offer because I actually haven't played any Vanguard at all. I haven't played the campaign, the multiplayer, or the zombies. I didn't even play Warzone during this this game's you know life cycle, so to speak. Um, I don't, it just never really connected with me. I actually like the World War II setting. I know a lot of people did not. I kind of wonder if that's why Vanguard got such hate. It's because they didn't care for World War II again. Um, me personally, I have no problem with it whatsoever. I think there's a, I think there's a bunch of stories, true or fictionalized, that you can tell in this setting. So I have no problem with that. Um... I don't know what to really expect with this because this is also Sledgehammer again. So they did make World War II, um, the one from a few years ago, and I actually ended up having fun with that. I thought that was pretty good. I did like the way it kind of connected, you know, the characters together and had this kind of squad-based story. Um, with Vanguard here, I mean, I don't really, I don't even know what the point of it is exactly. Uh, this is in 1945, apparently, so... It's obviously like like the other one. It's kind of towards the end of the war, uh, but. Who's going first? No back. You have a gun. Everyone, stay close. Uh. Okay. <laughs> Excuse me. Get out of the way, please. Off to a good start, there, Lucas. What what do we got here? Ammo. Yep. Now I don't. I don't think this explained anything. Do I even know who I am, or...? Am! <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Oh, you can just pick up ammo from... Okay. And you know what's interesting, too, is like... Um... You know, with every Call of Duty, they all kind of have their gameplay quirks. Now, with Cold War, um... I thought that game had really excellent gameplay. I thought they did a, did a lot of surprising things, a lot of little things. Am I... What does that mean? What does that mean? Do I have to get up there? Hey, let me back up. Am I just going over? Oh! Good job. Oh, here we go. A more official takedown. <laughs> Take one, Jerry, and I bet Petrova takes Bloody the other. Hell, here. Time for a change of plans. Oh, this this has got to be suppressed. I was gonna say this feels kind of weak, to be honest, to use. Did it say why we're even on this train? Did I miss something? 
I feel like I might have missed something in the intro. Hey. Okay, so I must be Novak. Okay. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Whoa, whoa, whoa there, Arthur. Relax. That was my jump. Hey, get off me. Relax, relax, fellas. It's the first level. Oh. Are you sure? Oh, here we go. <laughs> it's like I'm I'm already committed to going around the side of the train there. Do let me know guys, um and obviously, I'll check to this too, but, uh, I, it's my understanding that the sound, because, like, I, I talked about this in Modern Warfare and in Cold War, where I was having problems with the way the sound settings worked, because those two games in particular had a lot of problems, I don't know why. Um, I don't know if it's the new style of COD, and it's all just kind of, because of the way it's connected and everything, it just is messed up, and they're all linked to one another, so I kind of expected problems with this one as well. And I'm pretty sure I cranked the volume way down. I actually might be too quiet now. Um, I am okay with that compared to too loud, of course. But do let me know what you prefer. Um, kind of how loud you want the game to be. Obviously, I don't want it to be drowning out everything I say. Um, you know, but... There is a certain level of immersion, I think... You know, with, with sound design and stuff like that, I do think that's important. I'm gonna keep it a buck fifty. This gun sucks. Like, <laughs> oh, Richard. Okay, but I didn't. I didn't get the friendly fire warning though. And that's what matters. That that's what counts. Hey. Dude, is that... Hey! Polina! Get your head out of your ass. Well, don't mind if I do. Thank you. I feel like this has an abundance of ammo. I, it's one of those things that I, I talk about occasionally when I play these games, like health and ammo management. That's one of the things I thought was actually interesting about World War II, um, was it introduced, like it reintroduced health packs of all things. I don't obviously see that here, um, but I do, I am interested in that it like sprinkles these ammo packs and creates so frequently. And it just, I think that's kind of interesting. What? Hello? Huh? Oh, cool. Hey, watch out, dude. Okay. Alright, somebody better... Fucking explain something to me, though. Because I, I must have missed it. What are we doing here? This is the longest fucking train I've ever been on. It's kind of interesting. I do like, like... The design of it for gameplay purposes is interesting. I just... <laughs> I don't... I don't understand the practicality of this. Oh, they finally... They finally got smart. Mm. Holy shit! 
<laughs> Good shit. Oop. Here we are. Do I just go for it? Thanks, fellas. What was your uncle? What the fuck did you just say to me? Huh? Fuck me dead. Now that we've been properly shot at, might the officer in charge tell us what the hell we're doing here? Yeah, please do. That submarine base is our final stop. Once we're in. We move to secure the objective. Oh, okay. Was that so hard? Kingsley's been dancing around that since the get-go. This ain't just another Easter egg hunt, is it? Yeah, mate, what's the bloody story? We don't quite know. You mean the SO fucking E doesn't quite know? You know what? I'm gonna go pull the bricks. All we have is a name. Phoenix. <laughs> oh, so we got no idea what we're up against. That's the mission. To find out. SOE says the Krauts are moving something big out of Germany. Could be a document stash. The holy Maybe. When did it say when in forty five this was? Is this like actually like April the the end or are we talking you know? Mate, we're not from the same army. Hell, we're not even from the same continent. Quiet, get back. Why were we chosen for this fucking suicide mission? Brass handpicked six specialists hit the crowds fast and get away clean. Mommy can't do that. Too loud. Okay, so we're like a special squad then. Okay. They won't see us coming. Hmm. All right. In and out with those papers before they know it. Do we understand the plan? Yes, yes, sir. Nazis. They die. That's my plan. Yep. The entrance is past the rail yard, just across these tracks. Let's get those papers. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's not what I wanted. Give me that. There we go. I'll cover you from this box car. Christ. Hate dogs. Let's get it done. Take them out. Like, actually, just take them out or? Wow, this gun actually sucks. Well, yeah, you don't say? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That means you take point, I'll just watch. All right, this gun sucks. Here we go, old, old reliable. Here we go. Actually, that's probably the Garand, huh? It's got a bit of a pop to it. I like that. Yeah. There we go. Whoop. There we go. Where are you running? Oh, whoa, whoa, wait a No, 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 wait a minute. There's supposed to be... <laughs> you, you gotta give me a chance. Wait a minute. That's not how this works. Can I, uh... There we go. Alright. Watch out! 
Wait. That's a second wave. What? Didn't I get them with a grenade last time? Okay, there's the grenade. There we go. That's better. Alright, now where's that dog? There. Yeah, let's go, everybody. Now that I just killed everybody for you. Here, give me that. What is this thing? What is this? Is this a shotgun? Oh, is that... Seems kind of weird. Look for the command room. This must be it. Well, here, I better take this one, huh? Nice. Ah, but the shot can be pretty good here. Jackson, get the door. Okay, so who is my squad, by the way? I better, I probably should commit to this here. Riggs, Jackson, Webb, Kingsley, and then the girl, what was her name? Polina? What's this? Phoenix, we must be close. Not for long. Crowds are moving their stash onto a sub. See that lot lugging that chest? I bet you London to a brick. That is what we're after. So what are we waiting for? Time to bring the heavy stuff. Now we're talking. Wait, we can't go in loud. Arthur, whatever's in those papers is the best kept secret in the Third Reich, and the crowds kept them here, in the arse end of nowhere. So what? It makes no sense. It's like leaving the crown jewels on the front porch. With hardly anyone watching them. The entire German army should be guarding this place. What's Where going on here? Ones who don't know what Phoenix is. You're saying Nazis are keeping secrets from Nazis? I'm saying the ones who... Of course they are! Why not? That's That was half of the regime. That's why we brought the guns. To shoot them. Are we done here? Those papers are about to piss off out of Germany. You three? Take the catwalk and make your bloody noise. Buy us time. Webb, Novak, you're with me. We'll take the boat. Okay, let's do it. Let's go. Now, I will say, unlike World at War, which felt more like an actual standard military operation, like... I have no idea if any of this is real or not. Alright, let's get it, Arthur. That's one of the things I actually liked about World at War, is that it... Like... I can look at most of those battles and... Like, I understand it because I've... You know, I've at least done some reading or something about it. I have no idea if Project Phoenix is real or not. Um... That being said, I didn't really want to look up anything about this game because I didn't want spoilers, so it's just kind of... I'm just gonna have to go with it. Wait, what is blind fire? What is that? What... What does that mean? Also, I'm playing on regular. I didn't... I'm pretty sure. And I've died like four times now? Three times? I don't know if I'm just playing like a, you know, <laughs> just playing poorly or <laughs> or if this is actually supposed to be more difficult. Ah shit. At least there's not a minefield this time. They're exposed. There we go. Arthur, that's not the place to be, brother. Oh, it's an MG. That's what it is. Okay. There we go. Do I actually have to... Pick up ammo, or can I just like do the button prompt for it, or just walk over it? 
Whoa, whoa. Come on, fellas. What's going on? You let him flex on me like that? What the hell? Oh, there they are. Nice. Ooh. There we go. Oh, whoa, whoa, relax. How did, how did this motherfucker get by? Are you guys blind? Hey, wake the fuck up. We got an operation here, Webb. Amateurs, I tell you, amateurs. Oh, here we are. Let's find that crate and get out of here. Richard, watch our backs. Go back. You take the lead. Eyes straight ahead. Watch for ricochets. Oh, I didn't think about that. What an interesting idea. Okay, what's this blind fire? Whoa, 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 what the hell? Is this... <laughs> Wait a minute. Okay. It is different. I'll, I'll give it that. I just... I... How did you get in front of me? All right, on you. Tossing grenade. <laughs> that was good. These are very odd markers, though. It's like telling me where they are. I mean, sometimes it's appropriate. Like on the train, there was a couple of them. That's like, all right, that's fine. But I know they're in there. You don't have to give me a marker. Like, There's the box. no shit. I can hear them. Got a safe cracker. Be honest, will you? What does that mean? Arthur, the sirens have stopped. That can't be good. We gotta move now. Let that help me. Was that a... Was that just a flashbang, or was that an actual... Oh, no. Oh, great, they brought the torture chair with them. That's very convenient. Think you're British? A Cambridge man, through and through. So you know better than to ruin a man's Eden. What's this guy's name? Did I Beethoven's fault or not? Herman. I am not even going to try and pronounce that. Unlike you. 
Does the Negro get orders in English too? And do you follow them? Sie wissen, wie es ist, von einem schwarzen Befehler entgegenzunehmen. Er spricht auch Deutsch. <laughs> Please, proceed. The Rhineland accent. You must be from Neustadt. During the occupation, you saw French soldiers who looked like me carry guns in your streets. Marry your women. That's what I hear when you speak German. <laughs> Charming. He's got this nervous tick. Fuck you, Herman. We thrashed you once. Hear those bombs? That's us thrashing you again. Thrashing. <laughs> thrashing. What an interesting choice of words. I told you already. To sacrifice yourself to be a, a leader. <laughs> I am not here to give you what you want. Quite the contrary. Whoa, what? What? Give you What you Dispose of this. Put the rest in the trap. Wow, that was, uh, huh, <laughs> unfortunate, gruesome, not really sure what to think about that. I also don't like that it had to be me, <laughs> but an interesting perspective nonetheless. You don't, I don't think, I think it was that more interesting considering we don't know these characters that much that it was me the player versus one of them. I actually think that was a good choice. You're right about Vay. If he shows his face again, I'm bloody killing myself. Oh yes, let's keep blaming each other instead of the Germans. Is that supposed to impress me? Relax. It does not matter. Reisinger is going to kill us all. Reisinger. The Nazi. The one who killed Milbach. Old friend of yours, is he? Well, no. We have history. Oh, yeah, well, maybe. Ha, <laughs> never <laughs> Arthur will get us out of this. What, because he's your mate? Why does the responsibility fall on Arthur? But I've seen him in action. You lose men. That's war. Sometimes the only way to honor... I mean, he seems like a beast and all, but like... Come on. He can't carry the whole squad. Oh. Oh. Wait a minute. Oh, so this is the so this is like the British perspective and now obviously it's not going to be the same The thing with D-Day in World War 2, the other game that is. Um I talked about this before. I liked it, but it was less intense than I was than I was expecting. And kind of wanted to be honest i'd be curious to see what this does with it now given that it's not just a storm the beach kind of thing right all right this is it you know the drill stand up okay stand by see you on the ground 
we're on fire. Just jump. Good lord. Uh Hopefully this one doesn't catch on fire as well. Oh, I suppose it's dragging us down. Fuck, and we lost our gun. This is Arthur, right? I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it looks like it. Are we doing a stealth mission, like, right off the bat, too? Ah, jeez. Is that... It's gotta be the Germans. Make a run for it? Wait. There we are. Well, geez, we really got separated then. That's the British. You fucker. Oh, I got a knife at least. Take his gun. Where is it? Pick it up. Oh, that fucker flew. <laughs> Now I see why it was giving so much ammo, though, because I think it just... I only have a couple bullets. Well, now I don't have the knife anymore. I, why don't I use that? Well, the thing is, with only two shots, I have to I have to be careful. Otherwise, I otherwise I, I'd have to go run over and grab some more. Hopefully, but I'd like to save them if possible. This is much more cinematic than I was expecting. This one is something different though. The scout? What does that mean? Give me that. Um. Oh, right here. Well, why don't I just... Why am I playing stealthy with this shit then? The fuck do I care? Wait. This is something different too. Oh, it's got like an extended mech. Oh. This is really weird. There's a lot of variations of the same weapon. I don't have a... 
problem with that per se. I just wasn't expecting that. Whoa, 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 what the hell? Is somebody upstairs? Is that what's going on here? Well? That'll work. Oh, yeah? Hmm. Whoa! Oh, shit, it's a dog. Just run away. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, this is... That's a lot of people, and they're all behind me. Why is that? Am I actually not supposed to go loud? Did I mess up? Yeah, look at this motherfucker. Well, let me clear him out a little bit then first, I guess. Okay, then. I do not like that they, like, one hits you, though. I don't... I don't agree with that. I thought World at War did it better. Actually, I think even World War II did it better. You have this moment where you can, like, stop it, like, melee it. Unless I'm just missing it, but I'm pretty sure it just kills you. Which... Wow, that was guttural. What was the point in that? Thank you. Oh, I got a full reload. Nice. Okay. I'm coming, fellas. Wait, you guys don't fucking bonsai charge. That's not right. Thank you. Oh. Hey, 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 what's up? Thunder! Don't shoot! Damn you, Kingsley. We picked you as a crap. Lucky we didn't fill you full of lead. Alright, you good, Web? Nice to see you, gents. Where do we stand? The captain didn't make it, so we're on our own now. I say we dig in and wait for the rest of the sick airborne to assemble. Henry said we had till dawn to destroy the artillery. If we don't, the invasion fails. So you fancy yourself the captain now? Sunup's an hour away at best. There's no time for a sit-down. Yeah, there's also no muscle and no cavalry coming to save the bloody day. The only thing we can do here is to die or try not hey, to. Hey, you two scrapping over who's got the bigger bollocks ain't gonna solve nothing. Those German casemates aren't that far away. I think we can get to them in time. So I say we take them out. The company's scattered. We're pissing in the wind at this point. You know what's at stake. You all do. This is madness. Hey, we're beyond madness. Look, I'm with Arthur. We finished the mission. All right, Kingsley. Looks like you're in charge now. Casemates and Valhalla are that way. We 
should get moving. What's the plan, Kingsley? Oh. Let's get a part clear. Cool. I don't think we've ever have we ever seen this in COD. Like, I know in World War Two you could do like there were squad abilities, but this is like a direct order, like something that has more of an impact on gameplay. It seems. I guess we'll see how it turns out. I'm not opposed to it. I just it's uh kind of an interesting element. Good lord. We secure the bridge then. It's our only move. You're the boss. Hmm, but how to get down? Let's see. Keep low. Watch that truck. We have an opportunity here. Stay quiet and get close. Multiple targets. We got options, Sarge. Oh. The truck. They're back. Move up. The truck is clear. I see five tangos. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> what? There we go. Huh, it's clear, really? How about that guy and that guy? Okay, an interesting idea in theory. Obviously, it's not good. <laughs> is there another one or what is that over there? Oh, he's just, okay, he's just posted up. Whoa, 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 what is that? What does that mean? Oh. <laughs> Alright. What? What's the other one? Okay. Whoa! Excuse me. Uh... I hit the button... With the stick to melee, that's where you see him throw the gun, but okay, that's that's fine. Don't worry about it. Now I know better. There we go, now I got the flank on him. Oh, that fucker flew. <laughs> Suppress the half track, MG. This is a neat 98k though. I actually really like the extended mag on this. I gotta give it credit. It's it's not a big thing, but it's I mean it's noticeable enough, and it also, you know, for what it's worth. Like, this is only the second mission and everything, but this does feel different than, um, World War II. Which was developed, I mean, it was developed by Sledgehammer as well. So I'm, I'd be curious to see how much of a difference it is between 
this game and that game. So far, it's actually pretty good. I just... I don't... I don't know. Some things, like... Like I said, like the guns and stuff like that, the way they're different with kind of these attachments and stuff like that. I do like that a lot. Um, they're trying this thing with the squad, like, order thing. I just... I don't really feel the impact that I kind of thought I would. I don't know. Like, here you're using it as a suppression mechanic, which is fine. But, I don't know. There we go. So now we have to get to some artillery guns, I think was the point of this. Yeah, Webb doesn't seem like a big fan, but then of course he's in our squad later, isn't he? So I think deep down he understood that. Yeah. And realized we were cut from the same cloth. Webb went up ahead. Oh, oh, there's a lot of guys here. Wait a minute. I was not. I thought we were just going to go ourselves. Look at those defenses. Bloody hell. They're waiting at the table up here. Howdy. Looking, Sergeant. Just see for yourself. Let's get you the lay of the land. Oh. Jesus, that's a lot of them. Our targets are the guns housed in those casemates. We can only get there through a horde of Germans armed to the mm -hmm. Think you can handle taking out the lower gun? Fancy my chances. That bunker's our way in, but it's packed with MGs. It'll be a hard push. First job's getting across that minefield. But that anti tank ditch could be useful. I've got an idea. The more is. We can punch a hole through the mines with those blitzers there. And the bunker will make mince meat out of us as soon as they hear the engines coming. We're going quiet then. No engines. Bail at the last second, let gravity do the work. That should get us to the ditch, at least. What? Well. I love it. <laughs> I think you should go first. <laughs> you fucker. <laughs> you hit the ditch, get the men ready. Tommy, you with me? Oh, yeah. Drive through... Yeah, he's like, oh, yeah. Uh, sure, Sarge. Piece of piss, Sarge. And you, get a second sun burning in the sky. If our ships don't see that flare, if they don't know we've won, they'll fire on the guns and risk taking us with them. Well, I don't know about you, but I think I'll take very little consolation in knowing that the fire that killed me was friendly. <laughs> don't worry, girl. I won't forget to aim up. Godspeed, King. Am I to be controlling this? Oh, maybe.
Okay, not bad. And there's a bit of cover there, too. Oh, get in. Huh. <laughs> Rally the men. What? Wow, this is, uh... It's very, you know, it's very reminiscent of the trench warfare from World War One in a way, which is not... I mean, I know that's kind of, it's kind of a weird comparison, but it's like, it's the British and the Germans, and it's two sets of trenches. I mean, I don't know. It's just kind of interesting. Oh, oh, excuse me, fellas. Oh, my. Relax, relax. I haven't used anything, have I? Oh, here, I'll take that. Ready on the door, just waiting on you, boss. You take the lower case, mate. I'll take the upper one. Don't forget the flare. Let's move out. We're such. All right, boys, this is it. You on me. Jesus Christ! I do think that this... I mean, between the first... Uh, between us getting... Bashed in with the torture chair, and now that I'm, I, I mean, Vanguard does have a certain shock to it. I don't know if I call it a brutality to it. That perhaps World War Two did not. I guess it remains to be seen. Like I said, I mean, this is only part one. I'm pretty sure this is still just the second mission. So there's a lot that could change that mind. That's just the thing I'm kind of getting at so far. Hey, get off me. Oh, are they... Oh, they're suppressing it for me. Okay, I didn't see that. Well, I'm just gonna keep using this. I don't even know if it's, like, working or what's going on, but... Are you fucking with me? Just go around? Ah, I guess not. I forgot about that. Those fucking return to mission barriers, man. That must have been rough. Having to deal with that during the war. Oh. Oh, wait. Oh. Wait a minute. Oh. I, I, I don't have any fucking words. Fuck you. <laughs> I don't know. Whoa, relax. Relax. Hang on. <laughs> I, I turned. Uh, God, I almost fucking got a friendly fire. Too much was happening at once. The guy was there, and then there was the grenade, and I, was, I just panicked. <laughs> Toss 
seven. Wait, what? Holy fuck, yeah, they are. Wait, really? Oh, Jesus Christ. I don't fucking remember that. Yeah? Grab the torch. Torch. And yes, I know that a torch is just a flashlight. I understand that. But the British are wrong. <laughs> Look at that fucking monster. There you go. Throw some thermite in there. One down, one to go. That's the last of the thermite. Son! Okay, just don't get your head blown off like the last guy. <laughs> oh, come on. That was... What was that? What do you want me to say? Oh, jeez. This is spooky. A red light at the end of the time. What? Okay. All right. Now every crowd knows we're here. Mm-hmm. Jesus, you're welcome. <laughs> What? What the fuck is that? Oh! Okay, clever. Let's get up top before this thing explodes. You have the flare, Sarge? Bombardment's close. Go! Get out! Fire the flare! Sarge, the flare! Bombardment's any minute! Damn! Are you fucking <laughs> joking? Where's Webb? There, lower case, mate. Incoming! Get down! I'm going to Webb's flare! Get everyone! Jesus Christ, you gotta be shitting me. <laughs> Get out of the way. Get out of the way, I said. Oh! Where the hell have you been? 
funny time to take a kip. I was just waiting for some mad bastard to come and save the day. Well, let's you and I signal our boy, shall we? Yeah, okay, please work. <laughs> oh, thank God. Oh, good lord. The only way we could. By completing the mission. You look at the soldiers under your command. And hope that they can do the difficult thing. The impossible thing. That flare told me I'd been right. This is what it means to be a leader. From all the flags waving on the streets... We'd never have known the Nazis were about to lose the war. But bullies are always loudest when they're scared. Mm -hmm. When they're desperate, they get stupid. Commander Hermann Freisinger had killed Novak. And he'd given us a free ride. Right into the lion's den. Right, okay, so back to the present, so to speak. April 45, so it's, it's getting there. Field report. Twice. This Allied team is fastened. They have been captured. But it was too close. I want you to find out everything you can about this unit. It will be my pleasure, sir. Why don't you just you will speak of this soon, ask him nicely? Oh great, down into the dungeon we go. Wonderful. Christ, what is that smell? Chlorine dioxide. They think it hides the smell of death. So iron iron. Fuck the big thing. Oh, I think that's a mistake to lock them together though. Is anyone else hungry? That's for the doctor. Richter and Piss off, <laughs> you got room service for us. And I have questions for you. Oh, okay, so here we go. This is exactly what I was I'm the commanding officer. You'll speak with me. Even then, Richter was easy to read. Uniforms at high rank, no combat medals. Office rat. The perfect mark. Surrounded by three guards, all armed. And all wankers. In all my years studying the Allies, I have never come across such an unusual unit. <coughs> Kingsley. Arthur. Lieutenant. Service number 25232642. Oh, please do. I have spoken with the Fuhrer on exactly one occasion. He recommended a book to me. The Passing of the Great Race. By an American. Really? Of all the fucking books? The Fuhrer had nothing but praise for him. Yeah, of course he fucking did. The book is like... Fucking nonsense. <laughs> Throw him into the fucking wall? Below the clavicle. Oh, yes. There you go. Once we had what we needed from this racist bastard, that's where I would put my knife. My plan began to take shape. We were being held in the basement of Gestapo headquarters. Around and above us was a treasure trove of 
classified Nazi intelligence. This is kind of a strange Project Phoenix um had to be there somewhere. Narration. Victor it's interesting. He thought he was the intelligence. It just if he that, to be of any the use, tense that it's using is just while we can see it, it's that arrogant Nazi and his clean It's kind of it's a lot different than Daniels from World War II. I thought the hard part wouldn't be fooling Rick to I don't know, you can see him kind of writing in his journal and he's describing how he's feeling, but with Kingsley it's like Here's what we did, and then it's showing some stuff. I don't know, it's just... Well, yeah, because you left it all over the fucking desk. Picked up a paper and it said Project Phoenix. Ooh, it's very hidden. Well, that's... that's spooky. I was gonna stop it in an hour, but I didn't want to interrupt the cutscene. This is a long ass cutscene. I'm okay with that because it's pretty good. I just, I'm really surprised that we're spending so much focus with these guys in this setting. The Negro thought he was protecting his team, no doubt to prove himself, to make him their leader. The Allies must have been desperate. <laughs> he says in April of 45. man is dead. He's probably dying. I will uncover the truth. But the other teams like this one. How did they learn of Hamburg? Is Tempelhof at risk of being compromised? These are the things I need to know. There's more at stake here than I'm at liberty to discuss. Just know that I'm counting on you, Herr Richter. I understand. Thank you. This guy looks like a fucking weasel. So. We have your Tunnel in the Schloss geschlossen. Fingers. <laughs> <laughs> make a bus. And fight. Listen. They know about Wade. But they haven't caught him yet. Oh. Told him he was killed, didn't you? On the train to Hamburg. I don't think they'll fall for it. But the hope is that it'll buy him some time to get us out. He isn't coming back for us. That's right, Kingsley. We can't count on that fucking drone guy. Bring out the girl. Oh, no. She ain't going nowhere, mate. I'll oh, just get out of my way. <laughs> Alina, you can rest here. Who's nice? Your stomach is. Stalingrad. So now we got to learn her backstory. Okay. Well. Before their files ever reached my desk. But to say they were strong personalities would be a vast understatement. Particularly when it came to Petrova. Petrovia, have you seen me? Okay. I don't know if I have to wear this thing at all. No, it's flammable. But they are teaching me how to shoot. Wasted. Stuck in the med tent. Oh. <laughs> Don't be in a rush to find what you need. I'm surprised she's fighting at all. Oh, I guess I'm not. Okay, I'm not that surprised because it's Stalingrad. It's it but. <laughs> Yeah, 
Look what I mean. Hey, be nice. I'm always nice. You ain't fooling anybody. Nisha, mm. what you got there? Empty bottle? I'm training fresh workers. Our commas already know how to drink. These will be Molotovs. I'm advised to give explosives to civilians. Pleasure. You would if you need them. Spend time. Okay, we're gonna stop it there, uh, because that was like ten minutes of cutscenes. Um, not bad, just not what I was expecting at all. I I don't think I've ever played anything with as many cutscenes back to back to back like that. Um, <laughs> so there's kind of a lot to, a lot to process there. Um, I, uh, here's the thing with Vanguard. I don't have any experience with this game or the way that it's been played up until now. I talked about this a little bit when I played Cold War, um, because I hadn't really played that game's multiplayer either. I only played a little bit of zombies and that was it. So getting into that game and the way that it kind of, felt and handled itself was pretty unfamiliar um vanguard feels very much the same way i'm actually kind of surprised in how it handles um like weapon handling and ammo which i didn't really think that i would need to talk about but it's one of the things that popped up right away like guns feel kind of bad um, like the 98k is pretty fun, uh, mostly because it's the only thing that I feel like actually works. Everything else, I feel like I've just been just pumping fucking bullets into them and it just doesn't work. Um, which is, I don't want to say that it's realistic in the same way that it's like, because it's just a, it's just a fucking game. I get it. But on the other hand, it's like, that's kind of an odd thing to, like, show up in the game. I haven't probably said anything like this in any of my other videos. I've never, I don't think I've ever commented on gun damage in the campaign. So it's, it just feels weird to talk about it now, but that's one of the most striking things about this. As far as, like, the story goes, it's pretty good, actually. Um... It's a little bit... I don't know how I like this. It seems to be very, like, flashback heavy. Like, you have this main story going on, and then every, like, other mission is going to be a, a flashback to one of our characters. I can see the merit in doing that, because that kind of... It makes you kind of empathize and understand and get to know your squad in a way. Um, there, there is a point to that kind of storytelling, so I'm not opposed to it. I'm just, I'm, a, I'm also a little bit surprised by it because I, I don't think we've really seen that either in any COD. Um, we definitely didn't see that in World War II, which is probably the game I'm going to make the most comparisons to for, I, I think, our obvious reasons. Um, so I'd be curious to see kind of how this plays out. Um, we've, we've been to some interesting places so far, I can see here, with, First D-Day, and now in Stalingrad. So we're getting to some of these major operations, which is good. I think that's I think that's compelling, right? Not just in terms of story, but in terms of the things you can do with gameplay. Being in such kind of major conflicts of the war, I like that. Um, I don't know how that's going to really play out. It's kind of one of those weird things where I wonder if it's going to be like um, Advanced Warfare, to be perfectly honest. Um and it's made by Sledgehammer Games. Funnily enough, I feel like I, I hammer more on them than anybody else. But Advanced Warfare, I, I thought the story was pretty good. And I thought the gameplay was pretty bad. I'm a little bit afraid that this might turn into the same thing by accident. Um, just because of the way the guns handle. It, it There is a certain level of authenticity to it. In that, yeah, World War II guns were not very efficient a lot of the time. Just kind of the way that it is. But that's not very fun when you're playing a video game. So, I don't know. Historical accuracy and authenticity versus 
having fun playing the video game, which takes precedent. I guess we'll see. But um, that's where I'm going to stop it with this. This went just over an hour. I'm okay with that. Um, hopefully, hopefully this worked out well in terms of the sound and everything. Um, I really hope that that works. Like I said, the way that these games link with one another, I think, messed up the settings. So... Hopefully that didn't have too much of an impact, but I'm having fun with this. I'm I'm intrigued to see where this goes, and I'm really happy to finally get into something and, uh, you know, finally call it a true kind of first-time playthrough. This is actually a lot of fun. It's pretty surprising, actually, so I'm happy with that. But um, that's all I got for this one, guys. Stick around for part two. Thanks for watching.